Welcome to Servant of the Fates. Today we're going to talk about your future children. How many will you have? What will they be like? How will they impact your life? Pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your answer. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Let's talk about your future children. We have the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, the Fool, the Six of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Magician. Darling, you're going to have one child. We have one court card in this part of the Page of Cups. If you already have children, you're going to have one more, okay? So this is the energy that's coming towards you. You have a lot of masculine atmosphere here, masculine feel and aura. So this child is going to be a boy. Yellow stands out, so he is going to bring a lot of joy in your life. And I don't just mean the normal kind of happiness. Of course, everyone's happy when there's a baby around. They're cute. They laugh a lot and they're just so adorable. <laughs> but it's more than that. When this child grows up, a lot of pride, you know, a lot of love will be given towards you. This is just someone sweet. The Page of Cups is someone very generous and kind and giving. So this is what you're looking at. In terms of astrology, we have the Hermit top left. This is the card of Virgo. So this is someone intelligent, someone very analytic, someone who's just, you know, analyzes everything, very calculating, strategic, analytical, someone who really has a very neat way of looking at things, someone rational and logical and someone who's an achiever at school, especially because the card of Virgo is mirrored by the card of Mercury, the magician. This is the ruler. Of Virgo and Gemini as well so intelligence really air energy is bestowed upon this child this is someone who's going to achieve a lot in school you know when quiz bees and things like that and just someone who is going to take home a lot of trophies and medals when it comes to academic competitions again someone who's going to give you joy and pride right someone who's going to make you happy and on top of it all this is someone kind and someone who's always smiling very optimistic and positive we also have a lot of blue so spiritually you're going to be very thankful for this child it's like he is going to be the biggest blessing the best thing that will ever happen to you okay this is just lovely energy blue and yellow completely positive joy and clarity this child, they're going to be mentally healthy as well, not just intelligent, but someone, like I said, logical, rational. So someone, of course, they can get sad as well, but someone who is not prone to depression or anxiety, they just see life clearly. They have goals, they know how to get there, they know how to achieve their dreams with all of this yellow. <laughs> I mean, you have here the card of victory with the six of wands, the card of satisfaction, trophies again, and medals with the nine of cups the fool in the middle and on top this is someone daring someone who just chases his dreams you know and then with the seven of swords this person this child this angel will when they grow up help you get away from everything that's negative in your life this is the card of escape right so again every child is a blessing but this child appears to be more so than anybody else the four of pentacles it looks negative right i mean he's frowning and there's just not a lot of cheer in this card but this is actually a card of stability okay so everything that i've mentioned so far all of these achievements and mental clarity and stamina it's going to stay with him until he grows up okay it's not going to be just when he's in preschool or grade school the intelligence the positivity it's going to be a permanent fixture in this child's life 
this person you know they're also very protective of you and their loved ones this is a card of protectiveness and not possessiveness when around such beautiful cards because cards they influence one another in a spread again with the six of swords here whatever negativity there is in your life or will be in the future this child will help you get away from it they're mirroring each other transitioning towards the four of wands again stability force positivity so that is how this child will impact your life bringing you this protective energy this financial stability stable solid kind of joy and happiness and positivity and then with the magician this will be the greatest thing you ever manifested in your life the presence the existence of this child also with the fool here and the magician major arcana cards both are air energy so this child could be like an aquarius rising gemini rising airy you know like an airy kind of undercurrent to their personality but earth mostly okay virgo their sun sign is going to be just someone very stable you know virgo energy again analytical intelligent strategic a bit cool as well and positive easy going <laughs> easy to get along with this is the child that awaits you darling someone who's just going to bring a lot of yellow <laughs> a lot of joy a lot of blue a lot of clarity in your life I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Let's talk about your future children. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Chariot, the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, Justice, and Judgment. Darling, you're going to have one child. We have one court card in this entire spread, the Queen of Wands. And this is further reinforced by two Aces, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Aces are ones. If you already have children, you're going to have one more, okay? Because we're talking about what's happening in the future, the child that you're going to have in the future. This child is going to be a girl, okay? Because not only is the Queen of Wands female, we also have very strong Venusian energy in this spread, astrologically speaking. The Hierophant is the card of Taurus. Justice is the card of Libra. Both are ruled by Venus. So beautiful female feminine energy. This is going to be a very cute, adorable little girl. And once she grows up, she's going to be very physically attractive with the Queen of Wands. This is the prettiest <laughs> the hottest honestly of all the queens so when she's grown this is someone who's going to be breaking a lot of hearts this is someone that everybody is going to be attracted to not just because they're physically beautiful but with the queen of wands this is someone extroverted someone who loves to just hang out with other people someone who wants you know creating connections with a lot of people someone who craves friendships and companionships you know this is just someone very optimistic very energetic very active especially with the chariot here speaking of the chariot we have a lot of major arcana here justice and higher fund we already talked about and then with the chariot and judgment major arcana this is all about achievement you know when we're talking about someone's life major arcana equals major achievement leaving a mark leaving a legacy and we know that that's possible because from her personality this is someone large someone who likes to live large someone who likes to be noticed someone who knows her worth someone who doesn't like being ignored the chariot is the card of ambitiousness someone who's always moving forward and upward someone who likes achieving things in life and that is why we all also have the eight of pentacles and the seven of cups this is the card of hard work so your child they're going to want a lot of things in life but they're also going to be working hard for them okay this is not someone who's just going to dream and wish this is someone who makes things happen with the seven of cups this is someone who wants a lot indeed 
okay seven of cups a lot of choices a lot of options a lot of dreams a lot of wishes sometimes that's negative because people you know they just keep wishing and dreaming and fantasizing never doing anything about it but not your child she is flanked by two very positive pentacles cards the eight of the pentacles and the ace like i said this is the card of hard work and the ace of pentacles this is the card of harvest you know finally getting something the new beginning of something wonderful something beautiful and something stable going back to her love life with the eight of wands here this is someone who's going to have a lot of suitors someone who's going to have a lot of admirers so you have to be ready for that your child is going to attract a lot of attention not just when she's all grown up but maybe even at a young age you know when she's eight when she's nine she's going to be like the favorite of the class all of the boys will have a crush on her and you just have to be ready for that because your child is going to be a magnet not just for you know people who admire her boys who have a crush on her but people who want to be her friend as well okay she's going to be like a queen bee literally but i'm not sensing any negative you know envious jealous mean girl energy around here a lot of yellow and a lot of blue so this is about joy joy for yellow and then clarity and just positivity for blue and spirituality as well so this is someone who's going to be grounded someone who's going to be in tune with her higher needs you know with the higher needs of other people as well with the ace of swords beside the eight of wands two communication cards this is so positive darling because you see it all the time in movies and you read about it in books and you just hear about it all the time from your friends from your elders the thing with girls you know with children and yeah with girls especially is they tend to drift apart from their parents from their moms especially but that's not going to happen with you and your child there is going to be a very clear line of communication between the two of you and with blue there's going to be a kind of a spiritual connection even between the two of you you and your child are just going to be really connected that's why we have justice here you are going to bring balance into each other's lives you know whatever challenge is going to come to you in the future or whatever challenges you have now the arrival of this child not just when they're a kid but when she grows up is just going to bring everything back into balance in your life judgment at the end of your life you're going to look back and you're going to realize that she was your purpose she was your calling the reason that you were born was to take care of her and raise her and be there for her and notice this beautiful woman that she's grown into there is just a lot of ambitiousness and achievement that she's going to bring into her life and into yours as well so this is someone who's generous with her energy with her positivity and whatever she's attained in life as well so you're going to be very close and she's going to be very beautiful within and without inside and out and just get ready for someone who's going to attract a lot of people not just physically not just romantically but if you're introverted you know if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to be surrounded by a lot of people all the time that will have to change because your child is going to want to be surrounded by a lot of people you know a lot of energy around her that is how she thrives by feeding off not in a negative way by feeding off the positivity the adoration and the kindness of the other people around her astrologically we already discussed the queen of wands that is aries so someone who's a natural leader and then venusian someone who just craves harmony and comfort and pleasure and beauty in her life so darling this is someone fiery your girl is going to be really fiery and energetic and active and she's going to bring a lot of positivity into your life i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care if you chose the third card welcome to your reading it's timeless you're meant to see it right now let's talk about your future children we have the three of wands the three of cups the queen of swords the devil 
the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Moon, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Darling, you're going to have two children. In this entire spread, we have two court cards, the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. One's going to be a girl, the other's going to be a boy. The girl is going to come first. So let's talk about her first. This is someone really independent, someone very strong-willed. I mean, you have the devil here. A lot of people are afraid of this card, but this is just the card of ambitiousness when we're not talking about, you know, what danger is around you and we're not talking about your abuser or asking the cards about someone that you have to avoid the devil is just about someone who really achieves everything that they want in life okay someone very determined someone very passionate about everything in life so your girl is going to be like that the queen of swords this is the card of libra and then the devil astrologically this is the card of capricorn so together this is someone who's both introverted and extroverted. What does that mean? They know when to just really be friendly and socialize and network with other people so that they can achieve everything they want. And I'm not just talking about when she's a little girl, okay? This is throughout her life. She just knows when to make the right kind of friend and what kind of teachers that she should be close to. She knows how to manipulate in a good way, in a strategic way, her environment. And she knows when to just retreat and be with herself and reflect on everything that she wants, her dreams, the things that she wants to achieve. So this is someone very intelligent really emotionally this is someone who knows how to get everything that she wants in life with the three of wands and the three of cups this is someone who can create number three in tarot is the card of creation someone who can just manifest someone who can create and design anything that she wants when it comes to you though the three of wands means that the arrival of this child is going to bring you a lot of happiness because it's something that you've been waiting for for a really long time. This is waiting for your ships to arrive. And then with the three of cups, this is obviously, as shown in the card, it's a card of celebration. You know, So this child is going to be welcomed with a lot of love and she's going to feel that. That's why when she grows up, she's going to know her worth. You know, she's going to have a very strong self-esteem because throughout her life growing up, you and the other people who surround her, you're going to make her feel loved and adored. Like her arrival, her existence in your environment is something to be celebrated. And she's going to embody that energy as well. That's why she's going to be very independent, like the Queen of Swords, someone who just really knows what she wants, knows how to get it without help from other people. And with the Seven of Pentacles, again, this is someone who works hard, you know, she doesn't just dream. She actually plants the seeds and waits for harvest. So this is someone very, very intelligent, not just like someone who's good at mathematics or something like that, someone who's academically smart. No, this is someone who's intelligent in life, someone independent, someone who knows how to manifest, someone who knows how to get everything that she wants. And that is why every now and then you're going to feel like there's a rift in your relationship with her. Again, not just when she grows up, but when she's a little girl throughout her life, there's going to be some kind of conflict just because she is too independent and sometimes you're going to feel like she doesn't need you as much and sometimes you're going to feel like maybe she's craving a different kind of relationship a different kind of parent and energy that is not the case okay with the three of cups behind her this is someone who's going to love everyone around her someone who's going to be loyal to her loved ones that includes you of course but she's just really independent and ambitious so when this happens as young as she is you know 
don't take it as an offense don't be depressed by it don't be saddened by it this is just who she is you know she knows that there are people who love her and support her and she feels the same way towards them but also she has her own dreams and sometimes she needs to be alone in order to work towards them and achieve them okay so that is your girl what about your little boy your youngest the king of cups energy this is scorpio energy water energy with the moon we have pisces as well so this is someone who's more emotional than your eldest who's sword right swords are all about the intellect independence this is someone you're going to be closer to, you know? This is someone who's going to be clingy to you, but in a good way, of course. Mother-son relationship. Someone very kind to you. Someone you're very generous to. You're going to have this connection, you know, almost psychic connection with the moon here where you just understand each other. You just feel what each other feels. There is this beautiful connection, spiritual, almost magical connection between the two of you with the moon as well. This is someone who's going to be very intuitive. You know, not as intelligent as the girl, but someone who's intelligent in his own way, in an occult sense, in a psychic way. Someone who can read other people's energy, someone who can sense other people's emotions and motivations and intentions. But with the moon beside the Eight of Cups, darling, your son will have depressive tendencies you know not just when he grows up but even as a child you know as early as possible you're going to sense that there is this kind of sadness surrounding him because there, when there's a lot of water when there's an excess of water right beside each other the eight the moon the king right cups are water this could be negative you know there's a lot of strong psychic energy yes a lot of positive emotions when it comes to his connection with you but there is that tendency to be depressed as well so this person this boy is really going to need you more than your eldest more than the girl to give you know emotional support and just to nurture his mental health his mental stamina this kid is going to be closer to you not just because he's more expressive more emotional but because he's going to have more needs you know emotionally speaking the eight of cups this is the card of walking away so unlike your eldest this boy is going to have the tendency to walk away from things that don't work out you know whatever his little dreams are in life growing up you know getting that gold medal perhaps graduating valedictorian winning that tennis match or whatever in school when something doesn't work out for him he's the kind who's going to walk away from it you know so this boy is going to need you emotionally with the two of pentacles see there's that back and forth between happiness and sadness again depressive tendencies and energies around this boy so there's also i'm sensing that comparison between him and his sister so that's a part of it that is going to contribute to you know this kind of feeling of insufficiency so that is something that you're going to have to balance make sure that you're not playing favorites make sure that she's not drifting apart from you and make sure that he's not feeling underappreciated with the nine of pentacles though when he grows up it's going to be okay you know by the time that he's in his late 20s early 30s he's going to achieve that stability as well pentacles are all about stability and then nine that is all about fulfillment so it's going to be okay but growing up you know as a child teenage years early 20s your son is going to really need you but this is just so beautiful because your two major arcana cards are the moon and the devil so at the end of the day your kids are just going to bring a lot of emotional joy and material wealth as well into your life so you're going to have generous children 
you know, the kind of kids who share their salary with you, who buys you gifts, you know, very expensive, wonderful <laughs> gifts that are just very thoughtful and someone who's going to help you out financially as well. Someone who's going to share their blessings with you. And then with the moon, someone who's going to make you feel loved deep down, even though the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups have different ways of expressing their love. So darling, you have two very emotionally complex kids in your future you have a girl and you have a guy libra energy with the capricornian support and then very watery king of cups is scorpio the moon is spicy so these are the energies that you are going to be dealing with and they're both going to love you but they're going to express it in different ways i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care if you chose the fourth card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Let's talk about your future children. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Ten of Cups. Wow. The Knight of Cups. The Two of Swords. The King of Wands. The Knight of Wands. The Emperor. The Seven of Wands the world and the two of cups darling before we talk about your kids let's talk about what they're going to bring into your life because at the very top of your spread we have two tens beside each other the wheel of fortune and the ten of cups these kids are going to bring fame fortune and joy into your life okay they're going to leave a mark. They're going to leave a legacy, not just in your family, but in your community and beyond. Probably internationally famous is what one or two of them are going to become. So darling, this is just amazing, almost magical energy. You are going to have three boys in this entire spread there are three court cards we have the knight of cups the king of wands the knight of wands all of them male the knight of cups this is pisces energy the king of wands this is leo the knight of wands is another fire sign sagittarius let's talk about the eldest two the knight of cups and the king of wands your pisces and your leo kids are going to see each other as rivals because they're only going to be two years apart with the two of swords here so it's kind of the same age you know they're always competing with each other for your attention <laughs> for the attention of their social circle just for their achievements as well when it comes to their reputation at school and even when they're all grown they're just going to see each other as competition so there's a bit of negativity there i'm not going to deny it but it's going to help them grow together right because when we feel like we're being challenged that is when we expand our talents that is when we really strive so even though there's a bit of strife between your two eldest boys it's going to help them grow anyway and in the same line, we also have the Ten of Cups. So it's not going to damage them. This is the card of a happy family. So it's not really going to totally scar them, this rivalry between the two of them. It's going to be a little negative, but at the end of the day, it's more positive than not, right? It's going to be okay, but look at them squaring off facing each other. <laughs> They're also both going to be in an intellectual industry with the two of swords here. Swords are all about the mind, so they could be authors, famous authors. They could be professors, you know, someone who's really renowned in the university and beyond, you know, in the entire industry, in the entire field. But this is the field of the mind. So their career, when they grow up, it's going to be something that uses their mind, you know. So it's not sports, nothing like that. It's going to be something more intellectual than physical. And from childhood up to adulthood, they're going to compete with each other, but it's like 80% good, you know? <laughs> There's that bit of animosity, of course, that cannot be denied, that cannot be avoided. But still, with such good cards introducing them, there's still going to be love, a very positive kind of relationship between these two. 
your youngest, the Knight of Wands, he won't care. <laughs> he won't care about the rivalry because he is just on a different level, literally, in your spread, but also emotionally and intellectually. This is someone, it's going to sound negative when I say it, but I'm going to explain it. This is someone who's more bronze than brain okay so this is your athletic type this is someone who could grow up in the military you know or someone who would go to a police academy because he is beside the emperor and the seven of wands the emperor this is the card of generals and soldiers and lieutenants and you know that kind of energy that kind of authoritative figure and the knight of wands by himself is already someone very physically active someone very energetic the seven of wands someone who strives for a living doesn't mean someone who finds it difficult to make money no someone who strives someone who fights for a living is quite literal in this sense when these three cards are beside each other so this could be like a boxer, a tennis player, a basketball player, you know, someone who fights in matches, see, someone who also could be more literal, again, someone who's a soldier, you know, someone who strategizes battles, someone who prepares for war in the future. So this is your youngest. The other two, they're on an intellectual plane, right? Authors, writers, maybe politicians as well. Politics is really a battle of the mind, right? It's like strategizing how you manipulate people to adore you and vote for you and support you. But your youngest, no. He is more physical, more energetic, more physically active. So this is sports, this is the military, this is the police, right? That kind of industry is where he's going to shine. And you see, the Wheel of Fortune is above him. He might actually be the most famous of them all. When the Wheel of Fortune begins a spread, it is shining its fame, its glory, on all the cards that follow but he is the one closest right there is no card separating these two so he's probably going to be really famous this is the one who's going to bring a lot of glory to the family and then the world is here as well in his line right in his spread so this again is about fame this is literally having the world at his feet Right? So this boy is going to be somebody, darling. You are going to be the mother or the father of three achievers. And one or two of them are going to be world famous. I mean, we have the Wheel of Fortune for fortune and fame. And then you have the world for something that's just really wide. Something really large. Someone really renowned. With the Two of Cups, though, now we're talking about you. Even though these two have a rivalry, and even though this one won't be close to them growing up, and even as adults, you are going to have a beautiful relationship with all three of them individually. The Two of Cups, right? This is the card of emotional harmony. Romantically speaking, this is the card of soulmates, but we're not talking about your soulmate, we're talking about your children. So you are going to have this very harmonious, loving, caring kind of relationship to the three of them. Okay, so this is just really positive because we have the tangible, the material part of it, right? We have the fortune, we have the world, then we have the more emotional aspect of the two of cups here. So darling, this is just really good. I mean, the ten of cups is a happy family. So at the end of the day, there is happiness in the family, you know? There is happiness in the home, there is happiness in your heart brought by the achievements of these kids brought by just how ambitious they are they are going to be more than just your joy kids are everyone's joy you know every parent who is good <laughs> loves their kid and allows them to bring happiness into their life but yours is more than just joy darling it's pride it's glory these kids are going to make a name for themselves these boys are going to be somebody and they are just going to bring you a lot of pride is apparent. I think this is <laughs> like the most luxurious of all the piles because you're the one who got the world and the wheel of fortune and this is just about fame 
and just worldly energy and recognition so darling be prepared okay be prepared to be in the limelight because as the parent of these children you are going to be well known as well wow this is very interesting i'm very excited for you i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care